Hey guys, it is Tyler. And Katrina. I and thought you were going to introduce me. No, no right, I thought fine. you introduce yourself. I want everybody to hear your lovely voice. Um, I know. <laughs> that was corny. There's but anyway, we are here. We are. Oh, you liked it. Don't even. <laughs> We are here over at the Hearthstone Lounge in the Grand Californian at the Disneyland Resort. Um, this is kind of like a little hidden gem. It's like a bar over here that has all sorts of snacks and drinks. And we're under this light that makes me look like looks as, like we're being beamed up by aliens or something. Like, take us. Was it um, beam me up, Scotty? <clears throat> Yeah, that too, yeah. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really excited to come and eat here. Uh, for those that don't know, you can also order some stuff out in the lobby of the Grand California. They too. just expanded recently yeah. after their renovation. So now you can actually order their delicious food out in the lobby. And then if you hear in the background, at like the beginning, like, they, has, like, they have someone that plays the piano out there. So you yeah. can hear this like beautiful like Disney music and the piano. It's Sounds really, really nice. Very yeah. romantic. Well, let's head on in and try out some food. Let's do it. All right, so we are sitting now in Hearthstone Lounge, and I was gonna go over the menu with you guys real quick. There's a lot of interesting things, actually, that you can't find anywhere else in the resort, so the avocado toast is a really good one. Uh, they have duck wings that are actually pretty good. Not quite on par with the Carte Circle duck wings, but they're still pretty good. And then they have like all the artisanal pizzas that uh, Andrew Sutton created with his, with his group of chefs, and they serve them over at Whitewater Snacks, and they serve them over here too, but yeah, we're, we're, we're not gonna get any of that stuff today. It's just things I wanted to point out to you. Really interesting menu. Uh, but what we are gonna get is the, the, the chicken quesadilla and the seasonal fish tacos, which I don't, I'm not usually a big fish guy, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. And the American Wagyu burger, which is probably one of my favorite burgers on property, so I'm really looking forward to it, but Here's the little, here's the kicker guys, we've got it all gluten free, so it's not, it's not like it's going to be like a whole ton different, like it's going to be like a different kind of bun and it usually comes with, like the um, hamburger usually comes with a brioche bun, but we're going to do the gluten free bun and stuff, but really it's just to show you how easy you can get gluten free stuff, but it's not going to be, you know, the quesadilla and everything is all the same as it would be for, for any of you regular folk out there, but yeah, so I'm excited for the food. We, I also got this uh, Brother Thelonious beer, which is really tasty. It's nice and caramely, and um, it's like 9% alcohol. But of course, if you're going to come to Hearthstone Lounge, you got to get some kind of drink, right? So, Oh, yeah. This is a fantastic beer. I definitely, I'll get this at the store, too. Like, I don't just get it when I'm at Disney. I, I get it every time I see it, so. Mm. But yeah, waiting for the food, and we'll see how we like it. All right, Katrina's drink has arrived. I got it. So I got, I was being classy, and I, uh, I got some uh, sparkling brut. Uh, it's not champagne, because it's not made in France. Uh, or I guess it's that location where they made it. It's not made in Champagne, France. It's not, yeah, it's not made in Champagne, France. Thank you, Tyler. Uh, anyway, so I got the Iron Horse Fairy Tale Celebration Cuvée Brut. Uh, and That's a mouthful. This, I know. I had to like keep looking at it because like, it is a big mouthful. This is served sort of all over the Disneyland Resort. It's you can find it anywhere, Carthay Circle, the Disneyland Hotel, anywhere. But I I haven't had it in a long time, so I thought I would try it again. So um, it's, it's really good. It's refreshing. It's um, you could taste apple a lot. It's very um, tart in a way, and I I really like it. It's really refreshing. Is it more on the dry side or the sweet side? It's a brute, so it's gonna be it's gonna be dry, and that's what I love about uh, sparkling wines. I'm not a big sweet person, so uh, I, I like the I like the dry stuff. So this is really good. It tastes like apples. So if you like apple, I would definitely get this if I were you. All right, guys. The food got here. I'm super excited. This spread is amazing, honestly. Uh, I'm just gonna try a bite of everything and then I'm gonna have Katrina try a bite of everything. So let's just go through the list here. First up, quesadillas. Uh, oh, some chicken fell out. Honestly, we were talking about it and these are not very cheesy quesadillas. They're more, you know, chickeny than cheesy. And uh, yeah, I don't know. The, the tortillas are kind of dry, but let's try it out. I'm gonna put a little bit of the guacamole. 
as we affectionately call it, guacamachole, Katrina and I. I don't ask me why we do that, we just do. We don't do it to be rude, I don't know why, we just, we just did it once, I think we probably heard someone say it wrong. So Put a little of this salsa, I'm gonna go in for a bite, here we go guys. It's really good. my food, I don't want to talk with my mouth full. Oh, by the way, I had to move because the lighting wasn't very good and now I feel like I probably look like powder with how white my face is, but whatever, we're doing it anyway. Um, so it's really good, it's smoky, the chicken is nice and smoky, um, I like the crisp on the tortilla. You know, I'm not a huge cheese, like I like cheese, but I don't like like very melty, like super crazy cheese, so to me, I would prefer a quesadilla like this over a quesadilla that's like, you know, really gooey and cheesy. Um, so yeah, let me go in for, here, here we go, I'm grabbing a fish taco now. And Try again, trying fish. again, I'm not a big fish guy, but I just, you know, we decided we should get a few things and split it. And the fish is caught for the seasonal fish. That's true, so I don't really put a little lime on there. There we go, bottoms up. You know, I'm just kind of surprised by it because, I mean, it's pretty good. Um, it's kind of a hefty portion, I would say, of fish, like, in the middle of it. But my problem with it is that it just doesn't really taste like much. Uh, I kind of bit into it, and it was kind of like, where's the flavor? I, I mean, I hate to say that, but it's, there's not much flavor to it. And I can see that there's, like, some, I don't know, I see some, like, white stuff on here. I would assume some that, crema? yeah, some crema or something, but I don't see much of that on this one, so maybe that's one of the reasons there's not much flavor. I don't know about that, though. That's, um, it's not bad or anything, it's just, it doesn't taste like much, so, I don't know, that's kind of, I'm gonna move some stuff around here. And this is what I'm really excited about. Because I'm a burger and, and, and fries kind of guy, of course. But, first I'm gonna go for a french fry. I love how there are these, like, crinkle cut fries. I'm gonna go for the ranch, because I always do. They're really good. I just wanna point out, this burger looks fantastic. Yeah, look at this burger with this cheese, cheese. it's crazy. Burrata um, cheese, what's, what's in the burger? Do you remember? Um, uh, there's, there's cheese, tomatoes, there's arugula, there's a pesto, and um, yeah, the, fry, the french fries are a little bit cold, but um, other than that, they taste really good, so. I'm gonna go in for a bite of the burger now. It's awesome, it's like super juicy, delicious, seasoned well, cooked perfectly. Well, maybe not perfectly, but it's, I like it like a medium, it's pretty close to medium. Um, but I just love the burrata cheese on it and everything. Super tasty. I really recommend this burger. This is like probably my favorite burger on the whole property. So think about that when you want to come here. It is like $21, so, but uh, yeah. So that's what I think of the food. Let's see what Katrina thinks. All right, now it's my turn. Katrina's turn. My turn. Okay, so quesadilla, we're gonna do it in the same order, so nothing's going astray. I'm gonna try the guacamole. Where's my Where's my Mary Jo to like say? I know Mary Jo. Guacamole. We say we say guacamole, which is completely wrong. Mary Jo, guacamole. We know what it's called. It's just that we just. I know we're just stupid. being goofy. Yeah. Anyway, all right, ready? Crispy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> it's very, it's very crunchy. Very crunchy. <laughs> <laughs> it's very crunchy. Unlike Tyler, I am a person that loves gooey cheese. So for this, it doesn't do anything for me because I I want to see like when I pull it like that string of cheese. Oh, you so, want the, the cheese you, loogie? Well, um. you crazy. I uh, I love the stringy cheese. So for for me, I'm kind of like meh. Um, it's good though. Uh, the chicken's really good, flavored well. 
not so spicy the tomato like the salsa but it's not like so tomatoey and like chunky it's actually like, really good uh, the guacamole is really good it's it has like a hint like a little hint of spice but like that nice like lime to, like freshen it up so I really like that anyway so let's try the fish taco huh fish taco time the fish taco get a little bit of the lime yeah I don't know what this crema is I guess it's like I don't know but look at how much fish is in there though. There That's is a, a lot, lot of, fish, of fish, I will say that, but I just feel like it needs like, salt. I'm interested to see what- My worst nightmare is to get a fish taco and there's like what? Like a little, like a little yeah, speck, nib of a little fish, in there. Of fish in there. I don't even know what a nib is, but. Isn't that like, oh no, that's a div. I was thinking of like the ice cream thing. No, that's an ice cream thing, yeah. Let's... The was bon bon, anyway. Hmm. I agree with you. Yeah. There's, there's not a lot of taste here. There's just like, the the fish, it's it's like super tender, uh, super flaky. It's cooked really well. It's not dry or anything. There's no flavor. I wish there was like some salt or something, like it, you know, like, like the, something spicy, like a jalapeno or Yeah, well like the quesadilla that, comes with salsa and guacamole and I wish that this came with at least some salsa or something. Yeah, and so, I mean, I, I guess I can like put some of the salsa on this taco, but it kind of defeats the purpose if I got this taco and not the not the quesadilla. But it's it's still really good. I like the fish, it's really flaky. Um, let me try this burger. It's like a little buffet over here, my goodness. I know. Uh, all right. And they did say the fries are gluten-free, so I'm super stoked because I, Oh, who doesn't like french fries? So I'm gonna like dip it in the ranch. Yeah. Give me some of those crinkle cut fries. They're really good. They are good. Crunchy, hot. Um, They're hot for you? Mine was cold. Really? I thought it was really warm. Oh, okay. Um, maybe I got the wrong french fry. Maybe you got the edge. I don't know. But they're really good. Maybe a little bit of salt. A little, a little smidge. All right, this is insane. I don't know how to do this. I don't know how Just you take do a it. bite. Oh lord. Okay, ready? Oh yeah. Tasty. It's really good. I I really like this. It has pesto, burrata cheese, oven roasted tomatoes, arugula. I already it, said the whole list. <laughs> I'm just telling it again. It's so good. I really like this. I mean, we asked for medium, so it was kind of cooked a little bit over, but this is honestly, this is probably the best burger I've had. And I will kind of compare it to Lamplight Lounge. So, Lamplight Lounge costs around $21. This also costs, how much does this cost? $21? I think it's $21. How much um, are the fish tacos, $20. by the way? Okay. Um, the fish tacos are $15. Okay. And then the quesadilla was $12. But this is $20, and you get a healthy amount of fries and like a really big burger. I mean, the patty itself is, is pretty good. Uh, Lamplight Lounge as well, $21, you get a healthy amount of uh, like steak cut fries and the burger. I, I want to say the accompaniments for this burger is far better yeah. than the accompaniments with the Lamplight Lounge burger, but I feel like the burger itself over at Lamplight was like more juicy and like delicious. This as well is like really good, but I like the accompaniments here. I like the burrata cheese. It's like creamy and delicious. Yeah, it and really is a lot. That like good. that acidity from the tomato is really really good. So I I really like this so far. So they have some really good they have really good stuff here at this uh, Hearst Stone Lounge, and I think it's a little underrated, honestly. I yeah, think it's, it's kind really of a awesome. hidden gem here. It is, and it's quiet, and you can always find a spot here. I've never seen it really that full. So. All right, we're gonna continue eating here and then we'll do a little wrap up. All right guys, so we are done with our meal. What'd you think? I loved it. Yeah? I, this is like a hidden gem that no one really, I don't I feel like no one really wants to like remember and like go to if they're in the parks. And I think it's really good. I loved, I loved everything about it except for like, the quesadilla was good, but like the quesadilla, when I think of quesadilla, I think of like 
gooey stringy yeah. cheese like streaming from you know when I take a bite but other than that I, I thought it was fantastic like that burger with the like the pesto and the burrata cheese yeah was, that like, a burger I think the burger is like my favorite thing I mean it was really good um, and the quesadillas to me were really good too I, I think the one thing that I wouldn't order is those fish tacos but it's not even because it was like oh these are so fishy or anything because I don't you know I'm not a big fish guy like I've said like five times already but I, I <laughs> just didn't guy? it just no. didn't taste <laughs> like much you know that was the biggest issue for me but yeah. I we think juice it, it up afterwards though yeah we, we put like guacamole see, and the salsa from the other stuff yeah on it, and if it was you really ask good. <laughs> if you ask for some salsa or something I think that would be one thing but yeah eh, you know I, I, I would kind of avoid the fish tacos but other than that I really enjoyed everything and one little tip I would give is that this is right outside of California Adventure so if you use the entrance to get in here from the Grand Cal uh, from California Adventure to the Grand Californian they have their own little exit entrance area it's right here and you can like get away from the park for like an hour or so you know have some nice snacks get a couple drinks so uh, this place is great it was it was pretty quiet for the most part and yeah. Um, yeah I really enjoyed most of the food I mean a little pricey for a $20 burger and everything but that's kind of becoming the standard of Disney now so it is yeah honestly so, so you're not gonna see anything below if you're if you're sitting at a sit-down restaurant, you're never gonna see anything below a twenty dollar burger. I feel like yeah, anymore. Yeah. So if you want to have something like you know, a below twenty dollar burger, it's gonna be quick service. But this honestly was a good burger. Uh, yeah. It was. I I can't say it enough. It was delicious. If you love pesto and burrata cheese, I just love it. All right, guys. So thanks for joining us, and uh, let me know what you think about all the food we ate, and we will see you next time. Bye, everybody.